again. So we're going to cover cover design. How do, how do you want your book to look on a bookshelf for readers to pick it up? So I know we've all heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, that is, I don't know, the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. Everyone judges books by their cover. It, you can't help it. I mean, it's reality. Some books stand out um, more to you. I know books that stand out more for me are they're very colorful. Um, or it's just something different about the artwork, you know, it, it might grab my attention. I'm big on suspense books and mystery books. So any type of blood I see, I'm instantly drawn. I'm like, oh, what is this about? And if you look at my book covers, you can see most of them have little drops of blood on them. Something to engage the reader and be like, what is going on in this book? So this is mostly for fiction writers. Um, for nonfiction, you might tend to go a totally different route um, depending on the topic that you're writing about. But you, whatever you choose, be it fiction or nonfiction, you definitely want to make sure that your cover is engaging. Um, I can't tell you how many really good books get overlooked because the cover just can't stand a chance next to a really flashy cover or a cover with a really dynamic title and naming your book is very important as well. I think as much time as you take on that book, you probably need to take on coming up with a very catchy title to get people's attention to go along with the cover design. So you have to have a great title, great cover design, almost guaranteed sales. I'm not going to say it will, but it should with the right marketing team in place.